So how you doing? Hey, I'm in the shop here tonight. Been playing around uh, actually for two nights now. And I'm playing with this steel MS-170. And I'm working on trying to get it to run 100% alcohol. Um, so last, last time I showed you this, it was running a 70-30 mix. And I decided to see if I could get it to go to 100%. So what I mean is it was 70% gas, 30% methanol. And I'm trying to get it to 100% methanol. But I'm running into some trouble. Um, basically, once I get up to a certain point in the RPM, it's like the engine starts fighting itself. Starts throwing all the fuel back out the carburetor. Uh, you know, and if I try too much, I'll end up flooding the saw out and it'll shut off. So I think what's going on is because I haven't done any port work to it, I don't think the ports are capable of flowing 100% methanol air mix at a high enough volume um, to the engine. So I'm probably stuck with a 7030 because after I did all that, I tried, but I'm on third carburetor right now. So, you know, I've tried multiple carburetors. So, and in the process, now I got the original carburetor, which, you know, it, it, it was too sluggish and pain in the butt anyway, but now I'm on two other carburetors since then. And neither one of them are able to do it. I've tried timing advance, timing delay, everything. And nothing seems to work. So I'm pretty certain it's just that the port sizes aren't capable of flowing enough volume. So I think I'm at an impasse here until I get her torn out and ported. But I'm going to show you a clip of what she's running like. Um, I've been running it with the pipe and without the pipe just to eliminate that factor. You know, uh, so actually right now it's sitting here without a pipe. But in the clip, it has the pipe. And I can tell you, it does exactly the same thing with or without the pipe. Um, so it just gets to a point in the RPMs where it starts throwing everything back out the carb. I think it's reversion. Um, basically, the, the, the amount of gases built up in the combustion chamber aren't able to escape. And basically, uh, as the transfer is open, the charge is, or all that pressure is basically pushing right back down through the transfers back out through the carburetor and everything. So we're gonna have to do some porting, I think, in order to get to 100% alcohol. Um, but that's that's where I'm at. Um, so check out the clip and I hope you enjoy it. So, alrighty. Now, one of the things I wanna show you here on this video um, is something Mr. Harnett gave me. And if you haven't noticed that it's hanging on the wall, uh, let me get her down for you, alrighty. There it is. I gave him this old rusty meat cleaver a year ago. And check that out. This is what he did to it. He put a whole new handle on it. And he, he basically duplicated the original handle, you know, pretty accurately. But he did add that little guy down there on the bottom. And he left the patina. Uh, I can tell you this thing is very sharp. I mean, very sharp. Uh, you gotta be careful handling it. But man, is it gorgeous. I love this thing. Um, I'm gonna leave it on the wall here for a little while, but eventually I think it's gonna end up in the wall or on the wall in the house, uh, maybe in a display case of some sort. But I thought you guys would enjoy this. Meat cleaver here. I found that at a yard sale about two years ago for like 10 bucks. I gave it to Mr. Arnett and he did this. The funny thing is whenever I gave it to him, I told him he doesn't need to give it back to me. Uh, but he ended up giving it back to me in the end. So I'm quite pleased. Uh, he has another one he's gonna be doing for me. Um, yeah, I told him no hurry. Whenever he wants to do it, do it. I'm not in a hurry. Boy, I look dangerous now, don't I? <laughs> but man, that is a nice meat cleaver. Oh yeah, this is as big as my head. This is something that deserves a place in the movies, I think. It is special. But I'm going to leave it hanging on the wall there for a little while. Just so we can enjoy it on some videos. What do you say? And 
I will say the P70 over there, that was definitely the star of the show. I'm going to, I'm actually working on putting a video together of that saw right now. So basically the video I'm putting together is going to show you before it was ported, after it was ported, how it ran at hopper stock, and then how I'm going to get it running the next time. Because, you know, before it was ported, it was, you know, factory saw. Uh, first time I ran it, got it in the wood, I had it tuned up pretty nice, uh, and she cut quite well. But when we went to hopper stock, the thing got ran, and I mean ran a lot. Of all my saws, that one got three times as much run time out of all of my saws. One guy took it out and ran it straight for like a half hour. Uh, so that thing got a cr crazy amount of run time. Um, so needless to say, the saw is not running as high in the RPM as it's supposed to. So those of you guys who got to ran it at hopper stock, it's actually not running as fast is what it's supposed to because she, she went a little rich on us um she, she went a little rich when i first showed up but i i left it like that but by the end of the day there man was it running rich so i think it might have actually got broke in at hopper stock from all the fuel we got ran in um so next time i'm thinking one of these future videos here for coming up very soon where i think we're gonna go ahead put that thing into some wood and tune it up and see how she's she has she's running now and we'll, we'll compare everything on video between you know the different steps um i can tell you though that saw was definitely the start of the show very impressive especially out of something so old you know what i mean uh it, it definitely very impressive <laughs> So that's it. 
that's uh, that's where she sits right now. I think I'm gonna put everything to the side here because I got some other stuff I want to get working on, get tore down before I get into porting this one. So I got another, I got a saw sitting here on the floor. I need to start getting disassembled and I got a repair sitting on my bench. So I need to get that stuff done before I start tearing into this anymore. So alrighty, I uh, hope you enjoyed this quick little video on some issues I'm having on the MS-170. Uh, definitely gonna have to get some porting in, I think. So, hey, catch you on the next one. Later.